live. Thanks, Holmes. Appreciate that. That's good stuff. Well, it wasn't quite yet. Father of the I year was, right here, ladies and gentlemen, boys was, and girls, welcome to Live Talk Tuesday. <laughs> what's up? What's up? We got Live Talk Tuesday. Oh, it is June 8th. We are glad y'all are here. We got uh, a lot of cool stuff to talk about, man. We've had a lot happening over the last couple weeks since we were here joining y'all on Live Talk. Uh, big, big news. We just hit up over 40,000 subs on our Woo! YouTube. So if you're not on our YouTube, be sure to go on there, hit a sub, and uh, make sure you hit the notifications. We're uploading videos quite a bit, and uh, you guys will get all the videos uh, right to your personal uh, inbox, if you will, so you can tune in to us. We appreciate y'all. And also, uh, over the weekend, we had a big ribbon cutting. We did. We had we had a huge uh, turnout. For it the, was awesome. It was, a, it was a good, good time. I'm telling you, that was a blast. It, it was a great time. And I, and I think, uh, the chambers had a great time because usually when they go somewhere, you know, they do the ribbon cutting and it's like, okay, woo, welcome to the County. Thanks for uh, having us. We had, we had, uh, Murray County. We had Spring Hill here. We had, uh, uh Hickman County. Uh, Sheriff Bucky Rowland, uh, Murray County Sheriff's Department, mm -hmm. uh, came. I mean, we had we had a lot of stuff going on. There was a whole bunch of other people that came from other businesses. Uh, it was a good time. We had food, we had drinks, we had rides, and uh, it lasted all day till five o'clock. Actually, probably a little later than that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you something. I was whipped till the end of that day because oh, it was tired. hot. I was, was tired hot. and it was hot. Yep. Uh, and we also have more big news. This is huge news, guys. I'm going to tell you straight up right now. It's probably the bi biggest news, the hugest news. Um, YouTube is actually working uh, because our cell phone booster was actually unplugged uh, last week. So that's what we found out. We discovered that. We were trying to figure out what was going on with our service, why it was so crappy. Um, it's because somebody had sat a box on the plug-in and it became <laughs> unplugged. And that's why service was absolute dog shit last week. So... Uh, we got YouTube, and it looks crystal clear, at least on my phone it does. Everybody thumbs up, or let me know how it sounds, how it looks, just out of curiosity, um, to make sure that it's not just because the booster was unplugged, which I'm 99% sure that was the problem. I now knew we got the green light. You know what I'm last saying? week, I was like, dude, I got like a half a bar, yeah. we're getting ready to go live. Bad. And uh, we had no, I mean, YouTube didn't even, it didn't even try. It was like, ah, forget it. Yeah, it, YouTube was like, ah, not today, man. Nope, good. nope, nope, not today. not today, boys. So then everybody came over to uh, Facebook, and uh, that wasn't even all that great because we didn't have any cell service, really. I mean, it was just if the wind was blowing this way, we got a little bit of cell service, but uh, that was about it. But Tyler mm -hmm. uh, and Tyler, I don't know which one worked on it today, but they they got it we squared away. Tag teamed it, yeah, because we had to dig it out from underneath all the boxes that was sitting on top of it. Um, oh, it was hey, like, look at that. It was like, uh, yeah, I was in. like, hey, man, you know, I was like, right there is probably our problem. So we took yeah. it and did it uh, correctly. Let's put it like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was done correctly before, but there was like a lot of stuff. That was We had a lot of moving parts going on. It's a good thing we don't work in a hospital. No, seriously. Somebody's on life support. Yeah, seriously. Just that throw that been, box yeah, over there. Just, and well, we got, we, listen, we got like, oh, I don't know. We have a lot of units and they were, <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. lot of windshields. So each one of them has windshields. <laughs> And we have to take those windshields out and put them in boxes. And then uh, we get units that aren't the same, uh, which on the upside, we do got more units to the fleet. You guys can see them sitting here back behind us. We got the Razor XP 1000 four-seaters. Um, so how many of those do we have? Seven right now? Uh, seven. We got seven of those. Um, and uh, doing working on, you know, the learning curve on these as well right now, just like we had with the Generals, where we had, like, you know, mm -hmm. to figure out what we needed to fix and it took you know a few thousand miles to figure out what it was it needed to be uh tightened up and we haven't had any real issues so we far. we have one problem with uh razor with a clutch and with the clutch and that mm -hmm. was the first like week but uh tyler's on it he's figuring it out but i will tell you this this ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. has changed the game because the razor xp4 is fast I'm not. I'm not even kidding you. It's that got a lot, thing, of, a lot in the throttle. <clears throat> that Very thing throaty. will get it. So yeah. we get people out here, and ninety some percent of them have never ridden before, never driven a side by side, and they get in there and give it a little goose goose, and man, that thing just lays back. I mean, it whipped little Joey's head back in the seat the other day. <laughs> Little little kid, I mean, it was like, dang, dad. Yeah. Even dad was scared. Well, yeah, I saw him pulling out. There was like four. They were loaded down all four. Oh, uh, Colin wants to know what type of cell phone booster we use. Mom, I don't know if you have the link for that or not. The Wii Boost. Do you still have that or no? It's in our store. It was it's in, in our, our store. Amazon. On our Amazon store. Yeah, that's where we get it. Um, we just got it there. It's a Wii Boost uh, cell phone booster. 
it was a family of four. It was mom, dad, two kids. And I mean, he was like, he was like Mr. Rogers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. dude, like yeah, never did was, anything yep, like yep, thrilling in his life. Like this was like a lot for him. You know what I mean? Yep. Super cool dude. And he got his helmet on and stuff. And he's strapped in and he's like locked in. And he hit that throttle boy, and it threw his head back. His whole body went back. And I was like, she got a little bit in the gas. She got to go easy on it. He was like, I see that. His eyes got as big as dinner plates, man. So uh, to a new driver, it's too much. If somebody experienced this, enough to get you in trouble. So the or pedal somebody commander. somebody thinks they know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, the pedal commander is, I'm going to tell you something. This thing is no joke. We, we are actually dealers now for the pedal commander. We talked to these guys at SEMA, what, two years ago, whenever they had SEMA. Mm -hmm. um, and I was very intrigued by this thing, even if it, it worked. Like, I don't, I didn't at the time see it even doing what they told me it would do. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different settings on here. Uh, you can do uh, Eco, City, Sport, Sport Plus, and then you've got all these settings at the bottom, Plus, Minus that you can change and i'm gonna tell you something i put the, one of these on my jeep and i just put 37 inch bfgs uh uh km3s on there and i didn't believe him when he told me this i'm telling you i had that thing on just sport and i was up on like plus two and i was floating along at like 35 40 and i just gave her a little goose goose and it broke the tires loose and I was like, "Whoa, we don't want to be doing that." These tires. What did you expensive. have back? What was it? That what was it? That Bronco that would chirp tires in third gear. Oh, that was a Blazer. Blazer, Chevy Blazer. that Chevy Blazer. I had forty-four inch Groundhogs on this thing, and I swear to you, it was it was the baddest thing. You'd cruise into town, and you'd be like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and it was an automatic. I mean, this thing was set up, and uh, That's yeah, that was cool. I loved that truck. That thing had a monster lift on it, and. I don't even, do they even make groundhogs anymore? I mean, I had 44-inch groundhogs on this thing. They are not the most soft, smooth riding, quiet tire ever made. Yeah. But, man, oh, day, did we have a good time. While we're talking about tires, I know that we're talking about the pedal <coughs> commander. Uh, I just wanted to cover this real quick for Max Deal on YouTube. He said, what would be a good tire for mudding and also trail riding? If you're looking for just exclusive mud riding, I really am a big fan of the Mud Rebel, or not the Mud Rebel, the Mud In-Laws, the Sedona Mud In-Laws. Mm. But they weigh a lot, um, and they tear stuff up. So if you're doing trail riding too, uh, if you're looking for just mud tires, that's definitely the way to go. But if you're looking for a combination of both, as stupid as this sounds, and you're not going to believe me, the most impressive tire that I've ever seen out on the trail uh, is the Rockabilly. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a more versatile tire in my life. Yep. I mean, I don't know, and Dad has been around a lot longer, and he's seen some more stuff. I mean, he ran groundhogs on his on his blazer. So, yeah, well, uh, you know that like, happened. I can't, I can tell you from what I know about tires and what I've seen happen, like, out actually on the trail, not just what somebody comes in and tells me about or anything like that. What I've actually physically seen is the uh, the rockabilly man just performs like I've never seen. And, the, and the, I'm, the, I'm hoping the trail saw does as good, if not better. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So the difference, and you did a video on the difference yeah. between mm -hmm. the trail saw and the rockabilly. And essentially, I mean, essentially to, you know, to, it's essentially the same tire. It's just one has, there's different things that are real small about each one of them. It's the low rating, the mm -hmm. pressure, square body over round body, like, I but, mean, it's it's not really the same tire, but it looks very similar. That's what I'm saying. To yeah. somebody that, that yeah. like, if you're not going to read all the information on the side of the tire and really dive into it, and you're looking at just the tread, like, if you walk into a store and you see a tire and you're like, that tread is badass, it's not the tread that you're just looking at yeah. whenever you see that. Yeah. It's it's all that all that information on the sidewall of the tire. Like, for example, we had a blowout on one of our Yamaha X2s sitting back here. Uh, and I had 27-inch... Sedona AD, mm. and they did not meet the load. <clears throat> and it was a bias ply. And it was a bias ply. So you look at whenever, like, if you, and that, we did a video on the load rating. So yeah. like whenever yep. you add yep. up on the side of it, it'll say, like, max load at 8 PSI cold, 462 pounds. That's yeah. per tire. So you times that by four, so that's how you come up with your load rating for your vehicle. And with people inside of it and the gross weight of the vehicle, if your tire doesn't support all that, you're going to constantly have blowouts. You're mm -hmm. going to chew your tires up. <clears throat> and these are things that people don't look at. They just know, oh, I want the Maxxis Bighorn 2.0 because that's what came stock on my unit. Well, your stock yeah. tires are dog shit. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, that's the first place they cut mo cut money. You know, they cut weight. They cut money. Um, and, and the Coyotes that Tyler's talking about, the Sedonas, 
that looks exactly the same, the 27 and 28, mm -hmm. but the 28's a radial, 27's a bias ply, 28 can haul a lot more weight. Uh, it's just a much better tire for our conditions. So even though they look identical, you can't just go on Amazon or go into a showroom and look at them sitting on the floor and be like, I like the tread or that looks cool mm -hmm. or, you know, you look at the tires, yep, they're all black and you think they're all the same and they yep. are not. They are totally different. It's so, all, all how they're made and yeah. there's a lot that goes into them. I love talking about tires and I will talk about, you want to call me and talk about tires, I will answer every question to the best of my ability that I possibly can. Uh, and I will point you in the right direction that I can whenever you guys, if you want tires from us, mm -hmm. whenever you come here. Like, there was a guy that came in, and he was like, man, I just want a Bighorn, you know, 29-inch, oh, 2.0. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you just blew one out? And he was like, yeah. I was like, how many miles you got on them? And he told me, and I'm like, well, you're getting ready to blow them out. Like, you should look at just upgrading them. You know, you're going to spend on one, just to give you an idea, so one Bighorn 2.0 MSRP on it is like 229 mm -hmm. okay? A Sedona Mud Rebel, or a Sedona Trail Saw is like what is it, 199 219 something yeah, like that? Something, yeah, it's like it's in that area. So yeah. you're in the same price range for a so much better of a tire that's going to wear better for the riding you're going to do. You know, you're going to get more mileage out of it, uh, stronger and, and ply it's rating. And a, a, a low air pressure tire, mm -hmm. so you have that same load rating at that low air yep. pressure. So, and there's, I mean, it's, There's yeah. different stuff. You know, you got like the Rockzilla. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of different tires. Just whenever you're looking at stuff, there's stuff – that you got to take into consideration and whenever we were talking about the bias ply like if this is the top of the tire like and you're looking at it head on so bias ply is whenever it goes from one side to the other and it makes an x over top of the tire and a radial is it runs from band to band so it goes like yep. this straight mm -hmm. across the whole way down the carcass of the tire the whole way around it and that has a lot to do with the strength mm -hmm. of, of the tire so yeah i'm gonna stop talking about tires because i get excited whenever we talk about tires uh, i mean i can't tell you enough though the air pressure is the number one thing that kills people yeah like, yeah and not i mean not literally but i'm saying like kills your tires kills your riding game everything. yeah it doesn't like kill you dead it's just it, it i mean it has a potential it'll make to. you or break you yeah um, and and the other day like tyler was talking about the the x2 it was out on a tour and had a flat and must have had a flat since they left the parking lot and it was the end of the tour. This thing was literally destroyed, yeah. melted to the rim. I mean, it was it was, it was bad. So, uh, you know, knowing when you have a flat tire, if you're just a little spongy mm -hmm. or do you need a little bit more air? Because sometimes you might just be low on air and you're yeah. a little soft. You can feel it just kind of like walking a little bit on you. Yeah. And then sometimes if you feel like you're skating on ice, you got way too much air. Mm -hmm. So you just got to find that happy medium. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's a lot like NASCAR. They'll come in and... And I, know. I know that there's, like, a lot of people not – I mean, I know that there's side-by-side -side people that do it, but I know in the Jeep world it's really big. So, like, whenever you got rock crawling and stuff, yeah. what yeah. you do is you air your tires down. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You air them down, and the reason you do that is because you're putting more tread on the ground so that way you have better traction. More flex, um, better traction. More, every, mm -hmm. All that. But the problem is, is after you air them down and then you take it on the highway or something, like if you're running from park to park, uh, what happens is you have so much tread on the ground that now you're creating heat inside of that tire. And a lot of blowouts actually happen from the inside of the tire because the sidewall got too hot because you have too much tread on the ground. The tire's not designed to have that much tread on the ground, so you have to make sure that you air them back up after you let them back out uh, whenever you're in between rock crawling and stuff. So yep. that goes with you know vehicles, side-by-sides, anything that you deflate or don't run the correct air pressure at, you're going to constantly have blowouts. And always make sure your tire is cold whenever you check the air pressure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because if it's hot and you put the recommended air pressure in there, yeah. you're putting you're too putting much. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be too much. So that's, that's why, like, if you go to dealerships, the very first cold day, the line is out the door for all, like, the people that have no idea how to put air in their tires. Uh, they're at the dealership, like, my pressure sensor's on, and they make jokes. They're like, yep, they're here to get their winter air. You know what yep, I mean? Because yep. it gets colder. Summer air, your, winter your, air. Your tire goes down a little bit because it's colder outside. Air gets dense, and it compresses inside the tire. So I, The other day, I was at Discount Tire because I had them mount up my, my KM3s, and, and I'm, I pulled up with the trailer because it was just way too many, like, tires and wheels to put in my Jeep, right? So I'm parked down there on the end, and this dude pulls up. I mean, just no man card whatsoever whips up in front of the check my air station <laughs> and is like me me and they came trucking on out and he's like can you check my air i'm like dude it, heaven forbid you had a flat because you wouldn't know what oh, to do man. i mean and i'm up there with the tires bigger than his little smart car man you just, know 
I'll tell you what, it just amazes me. I don't know. Oh, what? speaking about trucks, you know, with Dad talking oh, about his yeah, upgrades yeah, yeah. and stuff. So I recently got mine back from the shop. Um, yeah, brand new truck. Uh, well, not brand new, but uh, I had uh, the intake off my turbocharger. Not, yeah, my turbocharger from my manifold blow out. Uh, and I thought I blew my turbo, but I didn't. Um, so I took it to the shop, and they're like, yeah, this is the part. Uh, we can do this, and it's going to be all metal, and we'll upgrade it. And I'm like, all right, well, how much is it going to be to go ahead and, you know, do the situation to it? You guys know what I'm talking about, the thing that the EPA frowns upon. Um, <laughs> so my EGR is still in my truck. It's still in there, um, but the uh, def uh, is gone. And uh, I went with an H&S tuner, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, that is the best tuner I've ever put in a truck. Hands down, the absolute most, like, it is so perfect. So it's a shift on the fly. You have a, a knob, and I, I could shoot a video for you guys in the family just to kind of give you guys a little walk around about it. But I got a cold air intake in it. Uh, my next upgrade is going to be a, a twin turbo uh, to put in it and a full, it's a stage three kit for it. So it's, it's right around four grand. But I haven't told anybody about that yet. But I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty, pretty. I'm pretty I thought stoked. you were going to talk about the dude side swiping. Oh no, no, no! Day. I'm talking about that next. But anyway, uh, so I, I was just talking about the the, the tuner kit. Now yeah. he's going to talk about the downgrades. Yeah. So I did have a downgrade to it. But anyway, listen. So the tuner kit. You guys that drive diesels, you know it's uh, a shift on the fly. You got one through five. So you have one is stock, and then you gain 50 horsepower with each notch that you turn. So you have 50, 100, 150, and 200 extra horsepower. Um, and it's, it's definitely, uh, it's a beast. It's a monster. Um, but anyway, I was pulling on to highway 40, uh, was mm. it yesterday or the yeah. day before, uh, two days ago, uh, day before, day yeah. before. Yeah. And, uh, this guy was texting and driving, uh, and he swerved over into my lane. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm so thankful that I got a big ass truck and I don't have a lift kit on it. Everything on it is still stock, like outside. I have stock tires and wheels, stock. There's no lift kit. Like it's everything on it is just hundred percent stock. This guy was texting and driving, and he swerved over into my lane. And I'm like, well, I see him coming, but I wasn't going to give. You know what I mean? Like, I was staying in my lane, and uh, he ended up sideswiping the back end of my truck. Um, and I look over at him, and he's, like, caught by surprise. And when I tell you, if you guys are cruising down the interstate, you ever see those, like, big black marks that trailer, tractor trailers hit, like, the center concrete or like daytona like daytona mm -hmm. you know the tire marks mm -hmm. on the walls on this, the sides of the car this guy had it going from his rear tire all the way up to his hood up on the front corner panel ripped his side view mirror off i ripped off a door i mean i tore his car up it was probably five grand worth of damage and again it's not my fault at all i had the tiniest little paint mark on the side of my truck. Yeah. <laughs> like it's breaking parts created and i can take it right out man and i was like I was like, dude, what is going on? He tried to run, and I'm like, I throw on my four ways, and I was mad because I thought he messed my truck up, and I was going to, you know, I was, I'm like, I'm getting his license plate and all this, and, and I'm like, well, it's a good thing I don't have my bumpers and on because I probably would have just pushed him into the guardrail, just kept on trucking like he did. You know what just I mean? Just finished the backside <laughs> yeah, off just, after you did the whole passenger side. <laughs> just tightened it all up for him, but uh, he took off, and it is what it is, but, I mean, it's honestly breaking parts clean and it's coming right off. I feel bad for him, though, because his stuff is messed up, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, by the way, this weekend is uh, Booby Joe, I mean, Bobby Joe's uh, <coughs> cancer ride. So just wanted to throw that out there for y'all that are on standby waiting for the cancer ride. Mm -hmm. It is going down this weekend, wet T-shirt contests <laughs> and all. Hopefully they have better weather than they did at the uh, SummerSlam uh, or – tornado slam or whatever it was that we did it was it was pretty intense the weather so hopefully they got better weather this time uh father's day is coming up so for those of you uh, dads looking for cool gifts mom if you don't know what to get them give us a call we'll help you out uh, our uh, store uh, should be done soon our online store should be done so uh, we got those rugged radio gmr2s and i got a bunch of extra different I guess uh, add-ons for it, mm -hmm. man, It's you could do so much with that. If you have an ATV and you don't want to carry a lot of stuff, man, they got like a moto kit. It's got a helmet deal. You put it inside your helmet, and it's got everything that goes down to the radio. It's got the push-to-talk. Everything is right there, just like a side-by-side, -side, not as big and, like, bulky. Yeah. Very, very streamlined, very nice. And then also we got the earpiece in that I talked about in that video. 
Uh, so I'm going to give the earpiece a shot because, you know, some people when they're driving, they can't quite hear the mic, especially if your machine's loud or you don't have a windshield, you're doing high speed. Um, so we're going to do the uh, earpiece and try that out. And then also I have another, um, it's uh, like the secret service type deal, you know, it goes in your ear and mm -hmm. then you push the talk on it and uh, one of those that hooks up to it too. So I'm going to try a couple different combinations. Got a couple bags that you could put the radio in instead of uh, the airsoft mag pouch bags. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we got the rugged bags that you could put on either your bike or your side by side, and uh, so we got a lot of cool stuff. I was working on the R Max all day today. I was just getting ready to bring that up, man. All day working on getting my radio installed. I have not done a full system. I'm talking everything uh, for quite a while since my X3. Have so, you guys ever walked into like a room at like a school where all the computers are and like they have that back room where all the wires are running like the main like like interface? That's what his <laughs> R Max looked like today. I came out, I couldn't even see the driver's seat. It looked like spider webs coming out of that thing. It was full of freaking wires. Man. I had wires running everywhere. I put a light bar on it. He got them all together. I was like, so uh, where where are you putting all these, bro? He was like, well, I ain't got that far yet. I mean, I'm just trying to get it all together. I'm like, shit. That's uh, a lot. Yeah. I put the 30-inch uh, trail saws on there with the St. O bead locks. They look good, They too. look, oh, I'm telling you, that thing is coming along mm -hmm. nicely. And this weekend, Melissa and I are going to be going to the uh, Water Valley Community Center right down the road from our house. They're holding a, a ride. It's a benefit uh, for the community center. Sheriff's Department, Bucky's involved. So we're going to get down there and help them out, make a donation. And uh, we're going to go on the ride. Miss and I are going to jump in on the ride with them. We might shoot a little story or something or do a little video, and I don't know. It's probably, I think, um, 70, 80 miles. Could turn into 90. Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to go down there. We're going to do that. But our weekend for the rentals, I think, is pretty full. So, fortunately, we've got all the guys uh, that are doing the tours to help us out now. Because when I say, like, things have taken off, I mean, things have taken off. Uh, today, who do we have here today? We had, uh, we got a visit from Senator Marsha Blackburn's office today. Uh, they came out because they saw the ribbon cutting and saw all the promotion that was going on on Facebook. And they were like, you know, that's pretty cool. So they came out and uh, the Governor Bill Lee's security is a friend of ours and he wants to come out. So we have a lot of... Um, focus on us right now and what we're doing and everybody thinks it's awesome mm -hmm. i mean they all are like this is the coolest thing because you can kind of the wheels are starting to turn like mm -hmm. hatfield mccoy or wisconsin you know some of these other states you know th they're starting to think and they're like oh my gosh like holy heck the possibilities are endless with this yeah. so the wheels are turning and they're they're really digging what we're doing. Um, so it's you never know where it's going to go. But I can tell you one thing: it's uh, it's going to go up yeah, from here for I, sure. I definitely think that too. I mean, listen, I, I and people, you know, they see the opportunity, all the stuff that's going on, all the people that are moving here, like, and it's mm -hmm. like, and they're like, oh man, like they have no idea how much money is actually in the off-road world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, the amount of money that we spend on this stuff, like, and I saw a video the other day and it made me laugh, and it's like, yeah, you see me getting out of, of my busted truck at the gas station, you know, filling up my, my tank and stuff and just paying in cash, and it's like, I'm covered in dirt, and you pull up in your Maserati and shit, and it's like, it's like, yeah, that's cool. And, uh, and then the person that was doing the video was like, but what you don't know is that they got a $50,000 boat, a $60,000 side-by-side, side. they got, like, all this, yeah. and they're listing off all this shit, I'm like, Man, that makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we don't got to be flashy, man, nope. but we like to, we invest the money in the stuff nope. that we like to have fun in. And the thing that makes me the most happy is that now it's to the point where, uh, you know, like, like politically and all that stuff, they're getting involved in trying to grow the sport together instead yeah. of it just yeah. being frowned upon. Yeah. Because whenever it first came out, like the whole side by side, uh, dirt bikes, ATVs, even dating way back, whenever that first hit, it was like, you know, like everybody was like, oh, they're loud and they're tearing stuff yeah. up. And it, it had a bad reputation from the start. And it was, and now it's getting to the point where everybody's like, man, this is, you know, a great thing to get outdoors. And I don't know if it's the whole COVID thing that pushed everybody like, hey, get outdoors and go do something. But the, I'm the happy to be where we are. The amount of people that I'm talking like the upscale businesses and people that are coming out to do these tours uh, is yeah. insane. The other day, 
If you all know Ruth Chris Steakhouse, uh, we've got a big um, corporate deal going on. They're coming and riding. Uh, it's, it's just amazing to me the companies mm -hmm. that are coming out to do this because they're all looking for something to do. And, you know, you guys all know, man, when you get out there and you get the wind in your face and you're just cruising along, man, you just forget about everything. The whole world goes away once you get out there on the trails. And that's why a lot of people, it's like they're R&R, &R, you know. And, and I know there's a lot of folks in law enforcement and, you know, first responders, military, whatever, and, and or everyday Joes just, you know, working their deal, busting their butt. That when that time comes to get out there on the trail, it everything just goes away. It mm -hmm. all disappears. And I've had so many people tell me that, that I've had out that, you know, may have been very successful or celebrities or whatever and they're like man when i get out here the whole world just goes away it does and it's and true. that and especially like you know now with the whole covid and you know the the media and everything going on you just need a release and and family time mm -hmm. there's a lot of times when you're out riding you don't have a lot of cell phone service so you're getting that family time getting that quality time mm -hmm. so i'm know. all about it listen and i do got i want to touch on that real quick and i got something else i want to say that i wrote down <laughs> so that I don't get off track and forget about it. Um, so just talking about like people getting into the sport, the new people that are coming in, and you know that's kind of like why we got into it. Like yeah. it was like to like get out there and like go do it. You know, build the yeah. dream and like yeah. this is what they expect. If you are new and you are here watching it, because I see that there's a couple guys that say, "Hey, this is my first time tuning in, and I love you guys' stuff." Now that we are at 40k on YouTube and the Facebook numbers grow every day. Uh, if you guys are new here and you see these people commenting, like don't be scared to get in here and ask a question or just say what's up because we like talking back to you and just saying hi. So if you do, uh, if you are new, please make sure that you say something. Um, and we do a lot of giveaways on here, just give you guys a little rundown about what we do. Uh, and if you see the people's names on YouTube, they're highlighted in green. Those are off-road family members. On Facebook, they'll have a badge next to them that say supporter. Uh, we have an off-road family thing uh, and it's five bucks a month. You go in there and subscribe, and then we do uh, a percentage for our shop sales. You know, ship straight to your door, and try and take care of you uh, as best we can, and make sure that we answer all your questions because we did recently start turning comments off on videos. Uh, so that way we could just talk to you guys straight up. You know, the people that want to talk to us and hang out with us. Um, like for instance, G Man uh, came out to the ribbon cutting. And he went for riding a slingshot with me whenever I took mm -hmm. people out on a tour. I was like, yeah, jump in, G-Man, come along. Um, you know, people, uh, Jacob Billets, he called me the other, he was like, hey, he shot me a message on Facebook and said, hey, I got a question about how to install this, can I call you? And I shot him my number and was like, yeah, just give me a call, you know, and talk to him about an install and stuff. Uh, I had somebody hit me up about a clutch and like we talked on the phone. So like, that's what we do with the family members. Like that's mm -hmm. what you get whenever you're in that, you know what I mean? Is the ability to just go back and forth and hang out and, you know, talk. But I just wanted to make sure that you all know that if you are new here, make sure that you say something to let us know that you're here uh, and just, you know, be like, what's up? Or if you got a question, lay it on us. My man's got a lot of experience. A lot of experience. So does he. he, he he's learned so much <laughs> growing up in it, you know. he's He's been around it. And now with a lot of hands-on, uh, he's really, really, like, just learning a lot because, you know, if you don't learn and you don't fix the stuff, like the dealer wait is four or five weeks to get your stuff fixed. So I just shot a video for Rick's Motorsport Electrics the other day, um, shooting some some just content for them that they're going to share. I'm not going to be sharing it, but it was about uh, what to look for when you're buying a used side by side or ATV or even a new side by side or ATV. Um, everything from the mechanics of it to what are you going to do with it? How are you going to use it? Uh, there's a lot of people that come to us and say they want to buy a side-by-side -side, and honestly they should not own one. Uh, they don't have the vehicle to tow it, they don't have the trailer to tow it, they are looking for the cheapest thing they can find. Yeah. They have no mechanical experience, mm -hmm. uh, they work all the time. I mean, it's something you got to commit to, it's like getting a puppy. You know, if you're going to do it, you got to commit to it because that is going to consume your time. And I say that as Axel's here destroying the bed. Uh, he, so. is, he is tearing it up, and I'm, i got to give it to him. I, I mean, at least he's tearing the bed up because I couldn't stop laughing. He was literally humping oh, for about he's, 20 minutes. He, since we started, he's been... He's been air humping back here. He's been asserting his dominance all over that bed. He's been tearing down that bed, I know. Now he's just chewing it up. Yeah. So now we have four dogs in the house, and, uh, well, I mean, they come and 
drop them off and then they come back and get them. And it's like puppy daycare for us, you mm -hmm. know. It like, is like puppy. It's like daycare. our grandpups. They'll come over, hang out, just mess shit up, and then leave. Yeah. Um, so we get out the spot <laughs> lot. That is know? funny. But it, oh, it's man. all good. It's all cool. Um, what I wanted to talk about and what I wanted to say, because you were talking about the rentals and stuff and, like, how everything is, you know, how we're growing so fast around, like, just our, our shop and with the rentals and stuff, uh, is that we have built one of the best teams. Yeah. I think, like, that I've worked with in a long, long time. Yeah. Like, ever since day one. Like, every single person that that works here with us, that we work with, are is absolutely phenomenal people. And yeah. every single one of them has their strengths that they bring to the table. And what they lack in other departments, there's somebody there to pick them up and help them out with what they lack. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, it is like yeah. a perfect clock that just, and it's just rolling. And like, I, I don't have, I have nothing but good things to say. And I just wanted to give a shout out to our team because our team is just every day just impresses yeah. me. And if you all saw that post I did the other day of us, you know, just getting crazy, um, mm -hmm. you know, and every single person on our team has been brought to us for different reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, they all have different talents, like Tyler said. And, yep. uh, but I mean, the camaraderie and the way everybody gets along, to me, that's one of the most important things. There's no backstabbing. There's no like, oh, I don't like them. There's, there's just none of that. We just don't have it. And whenever Miss and I started doing the tours, it was just her and I doing it for months, and we were just getting worn out. I mean, running mm -hmm. two tours a day, and it started out with two side-by-sides, mm -hmm. and we were driving one of the side-by-sides. So that mm -hmm. leaves you one side-by-side mm -hmm. that you could put two, three, or four people in it. Mm -hmm. um, so you, we just went from there. But then it went from, you know, two to four to six to eight, and then it was 10 and 12. And then the next thing you know, it's like we were getting our asses kicked. We, we literally would pass out at night and mm -hmm. get up and do it all over again the next day so having the team that we built uh, together all of us is is pretty impressive i mean it is it is a good thing and yeah. if you work somewhere you know what it's like when you work somewhere and there's tension yeah you don't want to go to work and and really it's not like a job these nobody even thinks it's a job yeah because they hell, I, I know Patrick says he's like, man, I can't even tell people I, I'm going to work. Like I'm just telling them I'm going to ride. You I know, know he's like, we can't even call this yeah. work. Yeah. Well, he worked at AT and T for mm -hmm. like what thirty years or it was something. A long, and, I mean, long it's a long time. time. So if you come out and ride with Patrick, you know what we're talking about. Patrick's like your funkle. He's like your fun uncle. Like yeah. from the south. He's he gonna I mean? make you want to eat biscuits and cornbread. I'm telling you, he's just lazy. Kevin, back, he's man. the same. Kevin I mean, is Matt, definitely the same. You know, Chad, yeah. they're all. Matt has a voice of a god on the radio. I'm telling you, that man should be conducting trains. He at was Disney the one World. I did the demo on with the GMR yeah. too. All yeah. right, guys, we've got a little traffic coming both ways. He's like, I'm telling you, that's. I wish I had the voice. Like he has a, a radio voice. Like it's so good. I'm like, um, damn. Like, that's it's just when you know, whenever we first uh, started getting. I mean, we were inundated with resumes whenever we said we were hiring. I we mean, did, we, yeah. we probably had about 150 people hit us up within like yeah. 72 hours of saying that we had jobs. And, you know, we went through all the resumes and talked back and forth, met with a few people and stuff. And whenever we finally, you know, seen the ones that we wanted and stuff, and, you know, you talk about the camaraderie and, like, how we get along and stuff. And the very first thing that I told them is I was like, we if we always tell everybody, like, we work together. Like, mm -hmm. this, if we are in here together. And if you all ever got something that you got to get off your chest, we're going to talk about it. If you guys got to step out back and square up, we're old school here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you guys handle it, and tomorrow's a new day. You know, yeah. we're not going to have any of that tension and stuff. So, And, like, I think that everybody just gets along so good. It makes me so happy because I've heard, uh, you know, like, either a disagreement about to put something away, and it's like, oh, no, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, and like it'll be like, well, no, we should do this. And it's like, no, we, we got to do this first. And it's, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Because everybody is – they have experience. They got age. They got wisdom. They're like, oh, okay. They're not, you know, young and cockstrong. So it's yeah, it's nice. I just that's all. I and there wanted... was a, there was a lot of qualifications that we look for in mm -hmm. people. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, it's, when you build the foundation, you have to look for the qualities that you know you want in the team. Yep. So not that you know there was a ton of bad people. It's just there was you know maybe a few things that we just didn't think would fit mm -hmm. in what we're doing so yep. selection is is everything and i know a lot of people right now they're like we can't even get people to work like they just won't work oh bro i'll tell you what i love it whenever i roll up to a stoplight and they come up with a big ass sign they're like uh 
uh, jobless and need yeah. money. Yeah. And then I roll down my window and I, I'm like, because I'm just sitting at the stoplight. I'm like, you know, uh, I passed four uh, hiring signs yep. on the way here, like to the stoplight. You know what yep. I mean? Like yep. literally you could just walk there. You can carry your sign with you. You probably put a resume on the back of it or just tell them you need a job and they probably just hire you, honestly. Like it's, it's. Uh, I saw a family out the other day at the crossings and they had their kids out there sitting. I mean, it was hot. I'm talking like, dude, it was cooking. Yeah. No shade. Yeah. Sitting there with a the sign talking about, oh, we need money, you know, this and that. Get a job. Yeah. Like, Listen, don't I put your kids out there and work for you. I swear to you, the best sign I've ever seen in my life. And I swear to you, had we been in a better position at the time, I would have brought him straight here and put him to work. He was standing on the corner, and he was... I mean, he wasn't dressed like a total bum, like his stuff wasn't tore up and he wasn't dirty in the face. You could tell, like, he, he used to work. Our, and this is right whenever coronavirus happened. So, like, everything was shut down and he might have lost his job and he didn't make money or something. He had this sign, and it was a big cardboard sign at the top of it. It was real big. It said, I'm not begging for change. We'll do anything for a job. Any amount of money will help out. Yeah. Please, you know, like, and I was like, man, like, Man, I, I want like I would have stopped and been like, you know, like, dude, come here and just like power wash side by sides or something, you know. But I mean, we some were, of that's reverse psychology. Some of them are good at it. Well, you know, this dude. <laughs> I mean, and, I mean, because I had some dude come up to me pushing a lawnmower with a can of gas and saying, "I want to mow your lawn and this and that." And oh, that's a, like the dudes come up and spread a windshield. I said, I said, "All right, sport." I said, "You might need a bigger gas can." I said. I got, <laughs> I got 10 acres. You want to come mow? He didn't have no gas in his can. He's just walking around with a mower in a gas can oh, saying, oh, I'm, if, you know, if you don't got no grass, you can just give me some money. I said, oh, no, I got grass. Yeah. I got I got, I got lots of grass. I got grass. I don't think that little 20-inch uh, oh, push mower man. is going to get her done, though. But if you want to do it, that's funny. I'm down if you're down. That's but funny, you're going to need some more gas, buddy. <laughs> he said, oh, no, I don't want to do that. 24 inches at a time. Yeah. Big strokes. Yep. That's yep. funny, man. Hey, uh, why don't you tell them where we're going to be going live from later on this year? Oh, yeah. August 31st uh, at the Murray County um, Fair. We're going to be going live from the side-by-side -side races. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I think it's like 6.30 the races are or something like that. But we're going live from the whole deal right there in all the action happening. So uh, Tyler and I are going to be there. They come to that and uh, – Y'all are welcome to come out and join side us. side races? That's what we're going to be going live for, side by side. Because I guarantee it's going to be like Motorama. Carnage. It is going to be straight up carnage. Dude, because you, you know it it's ain't not that a big. big. It's not a big track. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's small for a dirt you've bike. You've seen the dudes on the it's dirt bike. It's small for a dirt bike. I mean, Motorama, it's like that first corner, the whole shot. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. That's a, that was a small track. How are they going to race side by sides on that? That is small, bro. That's why I we're going to race live. dirt bikes on that. That's why we're going live. That y'all ain't gonna want to miss it. Listen, that is a, a tiny, tiny track. I know. There was this kid on a what was it a TTR one twenty five yeah. or something? It was like a hot. It had the light, the headlight yeah. on it and shit. And yeah. I'm like turn signals. I'm like, oh my gosh! And this kid, he was. I mean, he was way too big to be riding that bike. Like he should have definitely been on something bigger. And he's all every jump, he's going up and he hit the top of the jump. And he goosed the throttle and coast back down. And, like, he was just bringing up last play. He was just tapping right around the track, man. He's like, oh, man. I'm here for you. That'll be, here for the people. That, uh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, gonna well, we're going live. We're going to go there. And uh, they had a meeting tonight. We we couldn't make it to the meeting because, obviously, we were doing a live talk. But yeah. uh, we do have somebody at the meeting. And they're getting some details for us. So we're going to be going live from the, the Murray County Fair, August 31st. And I think uh, the side-by-side -side start at 630. So I'm it's going to be good. I'm kind of excited for it's that. Go, it's going to be I'm good. I'm kind of excited for that. I, mean, I didn't know that it was side by side races. I thought it was just like the fair. And we no, be we're there. going there for the side by side races, dude. It's, I wish we had. They were like, if we still got the sport. Oh, jeez, no. You wonder if that engine's on the verge of blowing no. up? <laughs> There's no way, dude. You'd run everybody off the track. No, we got we got to do the live thing. We got to watch the carnage, not oh, make the carnage man. happen. That's funny. We're not going to be responsible for the carnage. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because I could see that now. It looked like your truck rubbing his race. I didn't. He rubbed me. I didn't rub him. Come on now. I know. I get a pass on that one. I I didn't I, wreck it. I I will tell you I what though. You. If I was in my tundra and he did that, yeah, I been, guarantee you. Because I was on the highway. Yeah. I guarantee you I would have been in the wall. Yeah, he'd have pitted Because there was not enough ass in that truck. If he would have touched me, it's hard. I mean, he hit me hard enough to rock my cab at 60. Yeah. 
Yeah. 60 or 70 I was doing. And I honestly didn't feel it. I well, mean, 350, I mean, that you got... That truck it is, that back yeah. end, I guarantee you would have put me in the wall. He would have yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. What's up? That's a good. Call. R-Max is very I capable. Love I'm loving the R-Max, man. I'm, I'm loving a big it. Fan of it. I, I'm telling you what, I, I am tickled to death with that thing. Can't wait to get it out. And this weekend's gonna be cool. I mean, I got it all broke in. I got my mileage in and everything. And this weekend's gonna be good because it's gonna be a good ride. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. How many of y'all like that? Uh, mom knew that she was talking about Rouse Creek right there because it just says R Creek. Yeah. Anybody, mom, else, anybody else catch that? Yeah. We're old PA, PA folks from we the, used the to Roush, race. We, we used to race Roush Creek. Yeah, yeah, used to be up there in well, Roush Creek. I thought they turned Roush into a dump or well, something up there, or half of it or something. That just yeah, uh, but now there's that uh, down the road, that other that uh, the camping area mm. and all that. Roush Creek, Sleepy Hollow, Flying Dutchman, all that good stuff. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And it's funny because today I was thinking about Michaud State Forest, oh, shit. Caledonia. Uh, you can't drive more than five miles without getting pulled over. You got your tags on you. Three wheeler there. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's they're like the fun police up there. One time we went there to do a shoot with Diamondback, and uh, the DCNR guys came out, and he was like, "I know who y'all are." I'm like, "Oh, I get that a lot whenever you guys come out." <laughs> and they're like, "Cause you need permits and yeah, stuff to film. You they need said, everything." They said, uh, "Where's your permits?" I said, "Well, like we're just up here." you know, filming a little bit. We're just going to go for a ride. And he said, you still need permits. I said, well, what do we need to do? He goes, well, that's 30 days. You can't do nothing. And I said, oh, okay. I said, well, there has to be a gray area here. Like, you know, and then I just kind of talked to him and, and started BSing and stuff. And, and he was hanging out. And then he was kind of like, well, I'll tell you what. Like, if you don't ride in a group more than 10, then you're technically not out here on an organized event you're not filming you know this and that he goes so just don't ride in a group more than 10 and he goes and if you happen to meet up with each other out there you know whatever you know i said i got you yeah wink wink yeah. i got you <laughs> i said all right man i said i appreciate you buddy and 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 he was like came down off his high horse there for you know, and was like, all right, here's Does some the of that have to do with, you probably dropped your dad's name. No, I didn't no? drop that. No, no, that, not at Pat, all. Pat, Pat, Pat was a game warden. A lot of people knew. Oh. Yep. No, I didn't drop my dad's name. No, not at all. Um, there, well, oh, I guess we got an air compressor uh, firing for, up. You want me to turn that off or you want to turn that off on? Or? I'm going to turn it off. I, I think it's, it. I, I think it's kind of background noise. You sure? Who? Oh, yeah, we got, uh, I got it on my notes here. Uh, Aaron and Larry uh, sent us some cool stuff. It's a birthday package, I believe is what it is technically, because it's it was my birthday, and it's about ready to be uh, Mrs. Birthday. So she sent us some cool teas, a chili pad, and uh, which is a cooling towel. You know, it's not like chili on a pad. Uh, it's a cooling <laughs> towel. You put it in your cooler and you cool off. She sent us a Texas Roadhouse gift card, which y'all know that we're freaks about the Texas Roadhouse because I've seen a bunch of the stuff in the off-road family with the Texas Roadhouse signs and all the, that is all the stuff after Tyler was telling the Texas Roadhouse stories. Just saying, so. my man knows about them Texas Roadhouses, boy. So a big thanks to Aaron and Larry. We do appreciate you, and uh, thank you. The uh, gift card will absolutely go to good use. I can't wait to get me some rolls and some cinnamon butter. And, mm hmm Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> is there anything else I missed that uh, is happening this weekend or something going on? What do y'all got going on this weekend? It's Father's Day weekend. Y'all going riding, hanging out? We're going to go do family pictures. Drink some beer? Oh, yeah, we got to do family pictures Friday. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's what we're doing. Did I tell them, did I tell you guys last week about the remodel of Mom's bathroom? Did I say that? Yeah, you told, I yeah, did? yeah, okay. you said about the, you All did right. the whole, I mean, maybe somebody new don't know about yeah. it. He remodeled. Well, they went to West Virginia. I tore out their jacuzzi tub and put in a nice uh, vanity with like some nice recessed lights and everything all around it. Uh, it looks nice though. Yeah, mom it does. got mom got done polyurethane in it. Yeah, so she can't stain it up. So she used did it? you? Yeah, she used well, it today. Cool. Yeah, she was about. like, like that's awesome. Talking about putting something down so it doesn't get messed up. And I man, I'll so. tell you what, you turn them lights on 
If you're standing too far back, they're bright boys. I had an airplane try and land the other day because they <laughs> thought it was Nashville. They thought it was the airport. <laughs> oh, man. And I said, funny. hey, no, this ain't the airport. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Listen. Uh, trail saw, 30 inch, uh, with a 14 inch uh, Sano beadlock wheel, uh, mm -hmm. all all Sedona. Mm -hmm. I already got them on there. Actually, Tyler mounted the tires mm -hmm. up for me the other day. And they look good. Oh dang, they look good. I'm getting ready to put on some uh, rock sliders on the side that match the wheels. Oh man, I'm telling you. What's he doing down there? I see that He's all shaking. Hitting. Mom, I see hey, that. Will you get him? We. That's the problem. That's why bringing your kids to work. I. Job, I, I Yep. Bring um, your kids to work. Anyway, uh, what's up? Tell me, tell me something good. Oh man, something good. A lot of goods happening, man. We got, uh, we got some trips coming up. My trailer is still about two weeks out because apparently there's a shortage on axles. So we called them and they said, yeah, there's axles. We can't get them. So you're another two weeks. And they had originally told me six to eight weeks, and we just blew past the eight week mark. So mm -hmm. now we're looking at 10, 12 weeks. Uh, till we get axles, but y'all are gonna love it. It's all aluminum. I mean, it is. It is gonna be the cat's meow uh, towing behind my Jeep. Uh, I did, like I told you, I put the pedal commander in my Jeep. Huge difference. That, and I put the uh, what is that? Uh, the Taser Mini. Yeah. I uh, yep. put that you in. You were telling me about Man, that. Man, that thing. Oh my gosh, I can do so much with that. I can change a lot of stuff that the factory has limitations on. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Put on like a strobe show. Like it's oh dude it's cool I'm telling you, I can I can now override the auto start button you know the one where you stop at a light, all the new vehicles have to have mm -hmm. it on now I can override that I turned on um, uh, my rear camera so that when I put my turn signal on because I like when I'm towing a trailer I like to see what's going on behind me, uh, the camera comes on and it's like a wide view I can see everything behind me when I put my turn signal on so when I'm towing my trailer, I did that. Um, also set it up for my 37 inch tires and what you have to do with that is you got to measure the top of your tire down to the ground and put in the exact dimensions not just 37 inch um, because my speedometer was off when I was doing 60 65 it was off five to eight miles an hour mm -hmm. now it is like spot dead on, on huh? oh it's dead on there's there's so much you can do with that thing. I mean, it's not cheap. It was like 300 bucks, but man, oh day, you can do, you can line lock. I could lock the front tires and smoke off the back, which I have no problem doing right now <laughs> with the pedal commander without line lock. Um, you can oh, change man. your locking uh, front and rear. Uh, you can change, uh, like it's really only supposed to come on in like four low. Yeah. Now I can do it in high. I can do just the rear. I can do just the front. I mean, that thing, you can do so much with it, it's unreal. And you, you just control it. It's like like joysticks, man, just on your column. Really? Just And it has live mode. Like, I can be doing stuff while I'm going down the road. I can set up something that I want to change mm -hmm. while it, while it's live, and it'll, it'll just do it on the fly. That's awesome. Listen, I wanted to talk about some stuff that I got on Amazon recently that I thought was pretty cool. Oh. Okay? Uh, one... This might be for just the ladies, you know what I'm saying? But this could be for the guys, too, because I use it quite a bit. Um, it's guys to either buy gas pipe or galvanized steel. They think they see something on, like, Etsy, and they're like, oh, my God, I'm going to go make this. I'm going to make they, this. And then they go to check out, and it's like, your total is $197. Well, yes, yeah, sweetheart, it's galvanized steel. Like, that's very expensive. <laughs> uh, but there's a 10-pack of these, and they are extremely nice. Uh, and it was, like, 42 bucks. But anyway, you could put, like, a shelf on top of it like that. I use them a lot. They are super, it fits DeWalt in Milwaukee. Um, and then I have packs just like that that I ordered as well uh, that hold all the batteries. So I have a spot on my wall uh, that has all the all my drills hanging and then all the batteries that are charged up are mounted. And then I have my chargers mounted as well. So it's a whole like station. So those are some things that I got off of Amazon recently that I think are just, I love them. I mean, I can't say enough about them. The, the pipe fittings though, man, hold up nice. Paint job's nice. They fit together nice. And whenever you throw them together, you know, put them together. Uh, and put the shelf on top there. They look really, really good. They look really clean. And actually, someone just asked. Uh, Who's looking for? Who was that? Uh, Sarah, Elizabeth, double axle trailer, Brian. Yes, it is. It's a tag axle. I highly uh, recommend and prefer a tag axle mm -hmm. because I got it so it could haul the side by side, uh, and I got it a little bit bigger so I can move my side by side forward and back depending on the weight and what I need, and that way. 
it just fits perfect. Um, I see a lot of people putting side by sides and stuff on backwards. Uh, I will tell you this, don't do that because I was working with a trailer manufacturer, a hitch manufacturer and an insurance company on an awareness program of how many accidents have happened because people tow in their side by sides backwards. They are not designed to go backwards, especially at 70 miles an hour. And if you uh, have a windshield, that's definitely not designed to go backwards. And a windshield, uh, but what happens is, is parts and pieces of your machine fly off. Uh, I know it may trailer better because you got the weight up on the tongue, but you need a, a bigger trailer. You need to get that flipped around and you need to haul it from the front because that's the aerodynamically designed way it's supposed to. Um, very large amount of accidents from stuff flying off side by sides being towed backwards. So that was uh, roofs. You know, you see how your roof is designed. It's got the lip on right off. Um, seats, everything of uh, Even go that way. So, uh, but I, I'm telling you, you got to get a bigger trailer and you got to tow it the right way because the amount of accidents that have been happening from that are, are just crazy. Mm -hmm. but, and part of it too is because there's a lot more people on the roads with side by sides, mm -hmm. and not a lot of people know how to tow. Uh, they don't know how to strap stuff down. They don't know how to put their load on a trailer. Mm -hmm. So there's a learning curve there, you know. So you got to learn those things and figure it out. So that way you're making sure you're being safe for you and everybody else. Because I guarantee you, you get a trailer at 70 miles an hour and it gets squirrely on you. You will shit yourself. I promise you. Bro, I was I'm going to tell you right now. This dude had a trailer that they took a skid steer and loaded it down with mulch. Yeah. They had it all on the back end of the trailer. Uh, this yeah. dude was doing about 85, bro. And I tried to catch it. His, tr I'm like, he's going down. He's yep. got to be. He just came onto the exit, put on, literally got up to speed, and the back end started walking on him. And when I say this trailer was, he looked out his side, his driver's side, and he saw this trailer. He had mulch slung all over the interstate. He got it under control, but I'm like, that dude just shit his pants. Yeah, oh, I'm like, telling you. I'm if telling you don't you. have it, if you don't have it loaded down right, and then the worst part is, uh, you know, if you rent something from like a company or something, oh, like U-Haul is the best. Let's say if you rent, oh, U-Haul definitely U-Haul trailers, is the best. they are the best. And uh, I'm You're talking always in for a show. I'm talking about not only that, but like um, like if somebody rents a skid steer, yeah. like they have, because you don't need a license to get a skid steer or to run no, it or anything. So no. Joe Schmo from Kokomo can run down to a rental place, rent a skid steer for a thousand bucks a week. You know what I mean? Yep. And they're like, "What do you got a three uh, half ton or three quarter ton truck that'll tow this?" Yeah, I do. And they load this thing up and they drive with it. And I can't tell you how scary it is whenever you don't realize how much weight's behind you. Okay. Oh yeah. I like, know. That is a lot, a lot of weight. I'm talking, you're talking 10, 12,000 pounds. And if you load that incorrectly, cause I know, cause I've done this. This is how I know this. Mm -hmm. On the F 250, I loaded a skid steer and I had it back two inches, mm -hmm. two inches too far. That's all the further back it was. Doesn't take much. Cause I would thought the bucket was up above it. And the trailer leveled out, but it didn't like go all the way down like it was supposed to. Didn't get the weight on the ball. And on, I started the going down the road, and I was doing about 20, and it it started it walked just a little bit, and I stopped right there, mm. and I was like, I know where this is going. Yep. I, so I re-strapped my load. I pulled it forward literally two inches, strapped it down, didn't have a problem at all. Yep. Um, but if the you've ever if you've ever seen the videos oh, yeah. of the trailers, they start. And then it gets a little bit worse, a little bit worse. Yeah. And next thing you know, it's over. I mean, and then what's happening is, I mean, that 10,000 pounds literally just, and whenever it's whipping over this way, it's ripping your truck end over this yeah. way and snapping back. And it's it's just all bad, man. But, yep. And it, it, the length of your trailer is when you find people My new one? What'd you get, yeah. 20 foot? Um, what, 16? 18? 18. Probably 18. I think it was 18. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't sure. know. I found out about the trailer on Live Talk. I'm, well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was 18 foot. I forget anymore. It's been so long since I ordered it. I know I needed uh, something that I could get the slingshots on. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, some of these stretch limo side-by-sides, you know, that we could you know, take it to the dealer. They're definitely nothing but getting bigger. I, I wish mean, they wouldn't get any water, though. I, I wish that they would just... Oh, man, they can't get much water. There's no room on the trails. They're going to have to add on the trails, or they're going to have to make side-by-sides smaller. That's yeah. Those are your options. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it definitely you get you get some seriously seriously wide units, man. I can't tell you again enough about how impressed I am with the Ranger though too. Oh yeah, I know the right? Ranger's durability, performance, and everything. Uh, I mean, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest Polaris guy, uh, but man, I've I've I don't got a bad thing to say about that Ranger. Nope. Like nothing. And I'll tell you what, I had a clutch problem with one of them, 
and it wasn't our fault, and I don't know who did it because uh, we got them used from somebody that they were sent to us, and they, whenever they showed up, they looked like they were recently beat with a sack of hot nickels, and we were told that we needed to take care of them. Um, they had a clutch problem, and it was, like, making a lot of noise, and uh, this thing melted some aluminum in the inside, and when I tell you this thing kept going, like, if that was a general, it would have just stopped. It would have been like, nope, we're going to stop right here. That thing, to, and send it off to the side, and be like, all right, you need to take a break. They're absolutely great. What you got going on? Over Sixteen there? foot. Sixteen foot. Mm -hmm. Did yep. you just look that up right I now? I did. Look at you go, bro. I did. I did. Uh, email. Probably an email. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. It's reconnected. Later, guys. <laughs> well, uh, we're done. So if you saw the trailer that I held up, cool. If not, I'll post it online for the family and everybody to see. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you joining us. See ya.